everybody. I'm here with my buddy Bromley and we've got a lesson on living things. This week we're learning about the letter L and L is for learning about living things. And one of the most beautiful living things that you can learn about is a butterfly. So if you were staying tuned to Mrs. Hoover, Mrs. Hoover read you about the life cycle of a butterfly this week. And Mrs. Dallas introduced a new letter and it was Miss L and she has, Romney, do you know what she has? She has the longest <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Bromley doesn't like when I laugh out loud. Can you tell the way he's looking? So if you think about living things, one of the characteristics about living things is that they change and they grow. So think about a little puppy when it's so, so small and it's just a baby and helpless when it grows up to be a big dog like Bromley. And think about a tiny little baby. Maybe your baby brother or your baby sister. They're small and helpless and then they grow up a little bit to be a child like you. And they grow up to be a grown up adult like your mom and dad. So living things, one of the characteristics is that they grow and they change. So I know Mrs. Hoover talked a little bit about the life cycle of butterfly and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it too. So, and we can do some uh, new games and activities along with it. So look right here behind me and you can see the life cycle of the butterfly. It first starts, a butterfly begins its life as an egg. Say bye to Bromley. Are you gonna stay Bromley? Okay. It starts as an egg and you can see all these little eggs on the leaf here. And a larva hatches from the egg and that larva is called a caterpillar. And as the caterpillar grows, it sheds its old skin and forms a new one. And they munch and they crunch and they gobble up those leaves. And soon when the caterpillar's fully grown, it sheds its last skin and becomes the pupa. And the pupa is covered with a hard shell called a chrysalis. And it changes then into an adult butterfly inside. The adult butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis and flies away. And the butterfly legs new eggs and the whole life cycle happens again. So as you remember, as the, we learned about the water cycle, it's an ever cycling cycle and it's sort of like a miracle. And the life cycle of a butterfly is also called metamorphosis, which is really interesting. Now we're gonna sing the butterfly ballad and Lily's gonna show the poster so you can see. Butterfly starts as an egg, as an egg, as an egg. Butterfly starts as an egg. Let's see what happens next. Caterpillar hatches out, hatches out, hatches out. Caterpillar hatches out. Let's see what happens next. It becomes a chrysalis, chrysalis, chrysalis. It becomes a chrysalis. Let's see what happens next. Butterfly comes out at last, out at last, out at last. Butterfly comes out at last, and then it flies away. So that is called the Butterfly Ballad, and you can sing that at home. Now I want to show you a really cool craft that I made this today because it was rainy and funny out, and it would look really cute on Bromley. And it's a life cycle crown. And the life cycle crown is really fun for you to wear and teach everyone in your family about the butterfly life cycle. You can see on my crown, it starts with a butterfly. The butterfly then lays an egg. The eggs hatch into the larva, which is called a caterpillar. They munch and crunch on those leaves and get fatter and shed their skin. And they go into a chrysalis. And then out of the chrysalis comes a butterfly. So this is a really fun hat that you can wear to teach everyone in your family about the life cycle. Now, if you're not an artist, I, I like to draw pictures, but if you're not an artist and you want to take our worksheet on the life cycle of a butterfly and cut out the pieces, you can glue them onto a green strip and make your hat that way. Or if you like to be an artist, you can draw your own butterfly, whatever color you like, and draw all the other pieces of the four stages yourself.
All right, I've got two little math things that are an extension for butterflies before I leave you. The first thing goes like this. You put five little fingers up and it goes five little butterflies by the door. One flew away and then there were four. Four little butterflies by a tree. One flew away and then there were three. Three little butterflies up in the blue. One flew away and then there were Two, two little butterflies out in the sun. One flew away and then there was one. One little butterfly now all alone. Are you sad, Bromley? She was so lonely, she flew home. So that's a cute little poem. We'll let Bromley down. Go ahead, Bromley. Go down, you wanna go down? Oh, he's crying for cookies. All right, we have one final thing and it is a game. And this is called the butterfly egg game. These are representing little butterfly eggs as you count. So here's how you play. You take some cotton balls, which are representing butterfly eggs, and you roll your dice. So let's play, Bromley. Ready? See what number you get. You put, use some tongs or tweezers or anything you have at home. If you want to use your pinchers, you can use that too and get strong fingers for writing. So I'm going to count. One, caught one, two, Three, four, five, and six. There they are. And then I roll again. And this time I got five. So I'm going to count five butterfly eggs on this side. Two, three, four. And you can let your child play this over and over again. And you can play this over again, my friends. And then you can take a marker because you know how to write all your numbers because Mrs. Dallas put a video out to review how to write all the numbers. So this was six. And remember six is down, down, down and hibernate plus five, which is a little old man, takes a walk around the park and forgets his hat. So six and five, well, let's find out. So we're gonna take them and put them because plus means all together. So six plus five more equals, let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So then I can write my answer. Six plus five equals 11. And that's the total number of butterfly eggs I have. And you can play that game over and over with new numbers. You can even use the cotton balls, which is your butterfly eggs to erase and play again. So I hope you like all these letter L living thing butterfly cycle ideas. I know Bromley does and maybe he wants to wear our crown when we say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you soon.